welcome to week three of G Weekly. I feel so bad because this week is going to be nothing compared to last week's vlog. Because <laughs> ain't nothing that fun happening. Actually, that's not true. I might be going to the pumpkin farm or apple orchard this weekend. So that might be a cute vlog. But yeah. Today, I have been resting. Um, I watched World Harvest Church online, which is where I've been attending since I've been in Columbus. For the most part. If I'm not somewhere else visiting, is what I mean. I actually got great worship. Like, full-on tears and worship in my own apartment. So, that was really good. But I'm on my way. I'm, I'm in all my AKA gear because... I'm on my way to chapter meeting for Alpha Single Omega chapter, graduate chapter here in Columbus. And I'm really looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to the opportunity to connect with graduate chapter stories here in Columbus. I have connections really a lot with like Central Region, which is like Indiana, Illinois. But I'm like, I need to establish my home base here as well. So we're going to go today. I have high hopes as always. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in and say... Um, happy Sunday and I would say good morning but it is three o'clock so I had an awesome weekend I got in at a good time last night um, it was actually a really cool drive in it went really fast I was talking on the phone to my parents most of the time I really enjoyed myself I haven't been to um, IU in like a year actually since last homecoming so yeah if you haven't already checked out that vlog go on over watch last week's episode of G Weekly because yeah it was just a really great time Hi you guys, it's Monday. It's a super gloomy Monday. It's like so gray outside. Okay, you cannot tell. But it is like super gray outside and rainy and all that jazz. But it's starting now where I'll be in the schools starting next week actually working with students, which is the whole point. Um, but yeah, I was only there for a few hours today, so I came home to get some, uh, stuff done, so I'm actually gonna do that now. I've been kind of chillaxing and vibing all day, but still making good time. I'm gonna get some stuff done, but I figured I would do an unboxing because I got a pair of shoes, so I don't know if anybody else uses Just Fab, but I've had a Just Fab account since I was, like, in college, and really only because they have super stylish shoes that are in my size and at the time they were really the only ones that had stylish shoes um for bigfoot people like nobody target none of them used to have like 11 everybody would stop at 10 so um but if you know how it works you do this like monthly situation to get the best prices but if you don't turn it off after like the first five days of the month or something like that like if you don't tell them skip this month they take out like $40 out of your account. Moment, I'm pretty much on top of it. But I accidentally missed one. Like, this had to be earlier this year. Like, way early in the year. And I just never used it because I haven't really been, like, buying shoes from Just Fab recently. Um, so I never used it. And I finally decided to use it and got a pair of shoes. So I actually paid for these shoes, like, probably six months ago. And finally just chose a pair of shoes. And I was really nervous about the style because they're like those sock heels. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm cool enough for that, but we about to find out when we do this unboxing. Here's the box, just fabulous. So let me set y'all up so I can open these. Wow, yeah, it's literally a sock. You guys see this? It's like a sock. Ugh. Okay, okay. I have high hopes, guys. I do. So these are the shoes. Ooh. It's like literally a sock, you guys. Like that's my that's my foot right there. They're popping. Let me put the other ones on. So this entire ensemble together is hilarious because I've just been chilling in a sweater and leggings all day, but just focus on the shoes, everyone. Thanks, Just Fab. Hi, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Is today Tuesday? Yes, it's been kind of like a meh day, so sorry I'm like really mellow sounding, but 
Um, I'm actually pretty happy because to make myself feel better about my mellow day, I found a cheese... Hold on. I'm hoping you guys can even hear me. I found a Cheesecake Factory gift card that I hadn't used from my auntie. Shout out to her. Um, and so I ordered myself some... Um, some Cheesecake Factory, and I drove out here to get it because there was not necessarily one by my house, but I left work and drove up to Polaris to get my Cheesecake Factory, but I kind of have to hurry because I need to run into Target and grab some things, and the Cheesecake Factory is like right across the street, and so I need to hurry up because my food will be ready in exactly 18 minutes. Y'all, I feel so bougie. I feel so bougie. Like, this is what people who have good money do all the time. Like, oh, yeah, I'll just put in my online order, pick up my food on the way home from work. Like, what? This is so not me. Shout out to that gift card, though. And I was not ashamed either when she was like, that'll be such and such. And I pulled out that gift card. Like, sure did. Sure did. But I'm about to smash. I got, um, carne asada which is like steak uh beef tips well steak steak tips is that a thing it's like beef tips and a slice of red velvet cheesecake and if you know you just know hopefully this puts me in a little bit i hate to say like a better mood i'm not in a bad mood i just need a little jump start because i still have work to do tonight when i get home so i'm just gonna enjoy my little meal Enjoy that little peaceful time, probably watch some TV, and yeah. Okay, so this lighting is horrible, but it's what we're working with today. Oh my gosh, thank you, Lord. Look at that, look at that. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, oh my god. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I guess with um, mukbang, 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 however it's pronounced, I guess you're supposed to um, talk about stuff while you eat. And I'm like, well, first of all, why am I eating? I mean, why am I talking with food in my mouth? And what am I going to talk about? I guess I can talk about my day. Like I told you guys, it wasn't anything spectacular. It's because I started off the morning kind of on a bad foot. And it's totally my own fault, but... Really the day before, I'm already like prepping for my next day, which is not always a good thing. You know, you need to live in the moment and take each day for what it is. Like tomorrow has worries enough of its own, but at least by the time I go to bed, I try to like, I don't know, have my mind ready for the next day. Have my things together, in bed on time, like get my shower. None of that happens. And I can't really explain why. It happens every so often where I just, like, can't make myself go put pajamas on and go to bed. Like, I just am so distracted. That was yesterday. I was just so distracted by everything. And I had actually extra time to do stuff. And I just was majorly distracted. So, yeah, I didn't get into bed in a good time. And my alarm definitely does go off at 5.30. If I choose not to get up at 5.30, I have consequences because time flies so i didn't get a good parking spot which i mean i did get a good parking spot it's just not where i wanted to park and i'm just kind of beating myself up really hard like i have a hard time giving myself grace i don't know if anybody else is like that i do not give myself a lot of grace like i do a lot of like i told you so with myself it's the thing we're working on it but so I had to like get over the phase of like, all right, enough trying to beat yourself up. Like it is what it is. Today is going to be okay still. Like just suck it up. Oh, and we got our test back. That test that I told you guys I failed. I didn't fail it. Now let's not rejoice too soon because I was on the lower end of the spectrum of the grades. But I didn't fail it. Again, this is the perfect time for a comment of the day. And I think our comment of the day should be you guys letting me know what you guys do when you're in a funk. I mean, you just kind of, huh? What do you do to get to a better place, I suppose?
Happy hump day, y'all. It's hump day. It's hump day. What is hump day? It's hump day. What is hump day? It's hump day. What is hump day? I am in a much better mood than I was yesterday. That um, Cheesecake Factory blessed my life yesterday, so that probably helped. But you know what? I just got, I told y'all, I got my worship on. I got my prayer going this morning. I had a lot of encouraging words um, that just crossed my path on social media, on talking to my parents. I was talking to my parents last night. I'm going to put in the clips because they're hilarious during our FaceTime date. But yes, so I, I just had a good evening. I got rest. My morning class was canceled, so that's also probably contributing to my happiness on today. I got to sleep in and just relax and, and just get ready, you know, at a moderate pace. No rushing, no anything. So yeah, today is good. Um, and I am so nervous, y'all, because I have on my brand new pair of white Converse. And I feel like I'm turning into, like I, not turning into, I think I'm understanding sneakerheads now and like why they're so weird about like people touching their shoes and like keeping them clean. Like I sprayed them down, like who am I? Who is this person? I got these in a pair of Vans that I uh, wore last weekend at homecoming, but these I haven't worn yet. So I'm super, I feel like I'm tiptoeing, like if a wind blows too strong, I'm like looking at my shoes to make sure nothing's on them. So my goal today, which I won't be even remotely heading home until like nine something tonight. So if I can keep these white shoes clean all day, I am going to be proud of myself. That is my goal for today. Don't let nobody step on my shoes. Don't let nothing fall on my shoes. Nothing's happening to these shoes today. Never that. Hello, guys. You haven't seen me in a few days. But I'm here at Kane's having lunch with Summer. You might be like a, a frequent guest on the vlog. Yes. We're at Kane's, guys. Look at that. Blessed. Oop. Oops. Blessed. We both got the box combo, right? If you don't have Kane's in your city, I'm so sorry. No, there's a debate about canes. People get really mad because they think it's basic. I will not lie to you guys, the first time I had canes, I was like, what's the hype? But I didn't live in Columbus, and I feel like as soon as I moved to Columbus, it changed everything. It was like the best thing ever. Can't explain it. But if you get a chance to get canes, get a box combo, get an extra cane sauce, you're going to need it. I don't eat the coleslaw. Do you eat the coleslaw? You didn't even get coleslaw. Double fries. Wait, what? Coleslaw, double fries. Tell the people. Coleslaw, double fries. I'm offended. You mean to tell me if I would have told them no coleslaw would have got double fries? Well, you asked them no coleslaw. Livid. I didn't even know that it existed. I always just give my coleslaw. Well, usually give it away. I throw it away. I'm sorry, it's true. I'm sorry. Well, we're about to eat. We don't have a lot of time. But we have to go back to work. So, talk to y'all later. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. This angle is all off because my little phone holder is broke. So, it's like a suction cup on my window, right? And then the little arm that comes out is like, I can pull it out. Like, it, it will fall out. It might fall out while I'm recording this. Like, y'all might end up hitting the dashboard. But let me make sure I don't miss my exit. Okay. But anyway, so for once, I actually have plans on a Saturday. Well, it's not really plans. But I'm going to get my nails done. 
um, with Summer. You guys are seeing a whole lot of Summer. That's like, honestly, it's my grad school bestie. So, <laughs> you guys are going to see a lot of her. But, um, so we're going to get our nails done. She's actually already there. Her appointment was at 11. It's currently 11.14. I wasn't in a super rush because I don't have an appointment. And I'm just doing walking anyway. But, yeah, hopefully it's not too long of a wait because in that case, it will be awkward when I'm still getting my nails done and she's done. So, yeah, I'm trying to hurry up. We're going somewhere in Westerville, which is like 25, about 25 minutes away from my house. So, <laughs> this is definitely not down the street. But, anywho, we're going to chill today and just kind of have a work day, get homework done, get lots of, you know, things done that we need to get done that we... I think we both had kind of an unproductive week and so we were both like yeah we got to get our lives in order so that's what we're doing so yeah it's gonna be a chill saturday um i just uploaded my denouncing aka denouncing greek life video and y'all first of all i stayed up kind of late last night to make sure um you know i just got it the way i wanted it to go this video is a little more thought provoking but also nerve provoking for me um to post because it's just it's a touchy subject so I wanted to make sure that I got the message across exactly how I wanted to get it across and I really think I accomplished that I really do it might you know end up that the comment section still turns up and people act a fool but you know what I can't control all that so we're not even gonna worry about it so but yeah so that is live so if you haven't already seen that it's definitely live on my channel um, so go check that out. I'm not even going to tell you guys what time it is. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Because if I think about what time it is, it's 12 something. If I think about what time it is, I'm going to cry because I want to be asleep right now. But I wanted to come on and close out the video for you guys. Close out the vlog because I knew I didn't say anything after we left Panera. When we left, we went back to Summer's place, chilled a little bit. I got some stuff done. Um, and we got ready to go over to hang out with a group of bomb black women who are all OSU in grad school. Um we just chilled we had like a wine and chill night and just talked about everything from politics to Kanye West to like what our dissertation topics are and what we want to do with our futures and it was literally the most lit experience like literally I feel like when I'm having those genuine lit experiences I just I don't pull out my phone I don't think to pull out my phone and honestly I'm kind of glad I didn't pull out my phone because it was just kind of the first night of like meeting people and just kind of chilling like I was really proud of myself too guys because you guys know I'm introvert to the max but I really enjoyed myself just being out chilling in a really relaxed environment and getting to know people so maybe the next time around I'll pull out my phone and we can vlog but for this time it was just really nice to just chill so so yeah I don't know what else to say I'm literally like eyes are half open not even I have my hair twisted up. I don't even know how I found the energy to twist my hair up, but I twisted my hair, bonnet on. You guys are seeing me in raw form. I need to go ahead and put my pajamas on. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just so pooped. My nails are done. I love them. I love the length. I was not going to get an orange color. It's actually like a deep orange. It may not look like that, but I tried to be different and it's a fall color, so it still works. But anyways, I'm literally blabbing. I hope you guys have enjoyed episode three. Can't believe we're almost at a month of weekly vlogging. That's insane. If you haven't already seen week one and week two for episode one and two, make sure you go check those out as well. And I will see you guys next week. Good night.